So, you have a new Marvel show for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Okay, okay, what characters is it gonna follow? The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That explains the title. Great work so far. Yeah, and so Sam is struggling with the fact that Steve Rogers left him the shield, right? So he gives it to a museum. Oh, okay. And Bucky's dealing with some government-mandated therapy and hanging out with his buddy, this really old guy, Yori Nakajima. Oh, that's cute. Whose son he murdered. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, he did it while he was brainwashed, and he's kind of building up the courage to tell Yuri about it as part of his recovery. So he's like trying to get over having been the Winter Soldier. Exactly. And so then the government names this guy John Walker as the new Captain America. Oh, I hate this guy already. He actually doesn't seem like such a bad guy. Oh, but he's such a bad guy. Okay. But he's not that bad eventually, kind of. I, I, but not great. Oh, I don't know how to feel about this guy, but I'm captivated. Anyway, so then we're gonna find out about this terrorist organization called the Flag Smashers. And what's their deal? Well, they want the world to go back to the way it was before everyone was snapped back because everything's all messed up now. Messed up how? Well, this organization called the Global Repatriation Council are trying to get things back the way they were before the blip because now people are living in each other's houses, there are refugees, it's a mess. And so what's their plan? Oh, well, about 20 of them have taken super soldier serum and their plan is to get out there and you, you, go get, you know, go get, go get it done. What? They're gonna head out there, go get at, get it all taken care of. I don't get what it, what? Listen, sir, they have a vague plan probably. I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about what it is exactly. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. Anyway, so their leader is this surprisingly young lady, Carly Morgenthau, and she wears a mask and she's like mean, but you kind of get where she's coming from. It's just that her methods are questionable. Oh, sounds a lot like that Enfys Nest character from Solo, A Star Wars Story. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Well, we'll make sure to make it different enough. Okay, good. Who should we get to play her? How about that Enfys Nest actress from Solo, A Star Wars Story? Oh yeah, she's great. Good call. Great. So what's her deal? Why does every Everybody look up to her. Well, because she keeps saying things like, our movement is strong. Okay. It's time to make ourselves heard. All right, is she like super charismatic or something? No, she just quietly says vague things and everyone's really into that apparently. Well, okay then. So what else is going on in the show? Oh, well, we're going to tackle some really important topics like racism in America. Oh, we are. Yeah, we're going to have this whole storyline with this old African-American super soldier, Isaiah Bradley, that the government did tests on. Really heavy stuff. Well, yeah, important stuff to tackle for sure. Yeah, also Baron Zemo's gonna do a little dance. What? Well, we gotta balance out some of the heavier stuff with some lighter stuff, so Baron Zemo's gonna hit the dance floor. Okay, what's Zemo doing in the show anyway? Well, Bucky and Sam realize they need his help, so they break him out of jail, and he's much sassier now. Well, great. Yeah, so they head to this city called Madripoor, because they want to find out where the super soldier serum's being made. Right. And while they're there, they're gonna meet Sharon Carter. She's from the movies. She is, and there's this mysterious person in Madripoor called the Power Broker, and we don't know who it is. Is it Mephisto? What? No. Sorry, I'm still a little riled up from the WandaVision pitch. No, this power broker person seems to be a very influential person in Madripoor. They're pulling a bunch of strings, they have crazy access to stuff. Okay. Anyway, so Sharon Carter seems to be a pretty influential person in Madripoor. She's pulling a bunch of strings, she has crazy access to stuff. Oh, so Sharon is the power broker. What? No. Yeah, I feel like with the clues you've laid out, though. It's not. Mm -mm, nobody knows who the power broker is. I feel like it's pretty obviously her, though. Also, Z Zemo's gonna put on his purple mask from the comics. Oh, why does he put that on? Because it's gonna look good in the trailers. Can't argue with that. And so the Flag Smashers, they start doing really intense stuff, like they bomb this GRC headquarters place, kill a bunch of innocent people. Oh. Carly straight up calls Sam's sister and threatens his nephews. So she's like full on evil. No, actually, we're gonna act like she's misunderstood. I don't know, seems pretty intense. Yeah, we're gonna act like she's misunderstood. If you say so. So eventually her and the Flag Smashers are gonna fight against Walker and his partner Lamar, and we're gonna see that Walker Walker's taken some super soldier serum. Oh, he has. Yeah, and one of Carly's people was holding Walker because their plan is to stab him to death because he's a symbol. But then Carly accidentally kills Lamar. Oh, no. Yeah, so then Walker runs over to Lamar and the Flag Smashers, they all run away. Well, why don't they finish the job and kill Walker like they were trying to do? Well, because this part of the scene is over, so they scatter. Oh, uh, okay. And then Walker gets all mad and he kills that guy that was holding him so Carly could stab his heart. Okay, seems pretty reasonable. It's not, actually, because the bad guy was down and a bunch of people were watching. Right, yeah, no, killing is bad, but Bucky and Sam have killed bad guys too, right? Oh no, they do for sure, but this guy was down and he was like, please don't kill me, so it's different. So maybe some of the people Bucky and Sam killed would have said that too if they hadn't died so quickly. I guess we'll never know. Because they died. Because they died, yeah. So then Walker gets fired as Captain America and he starts to make his own shield. Oh, I bet that's gonna come into play later. Yeah, no, not really though. It gets smashed immediately when he starts fighting with it. Right, that wasn't vibranium. I guess that makes sense. It just kind of a 
metal circle, really, but we're gonna hype it up in a post credit scene. Sure, why not? So Sam is gonna start training with the real shield, you know, how to lodge it into things, how to make it bounce and come back. Yeah, how does the shield work exactly? Well, it works however I need it to in whatever action bit I'm writing. Okay, great, that makes sense. So anyway, by the finale, the Flag Smashers are gonna have a pretty clear objective. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're gonna kidnap a bunch of GRC senators so they can't pass a resettlement vote. And so Carly sets a truck of hostages on fire. Okay, so we're done trying to paint her in a sympathetic light, right? No, we're still trying. She's... Oh, she's... Okay. And get this, we're gonna find out that Sharon is the power broker. Right, yeah, I figured that out. No, you didn't. Who else would it have- This is a big twist that I wrote. Okay. So then Sam is gonna show up, and he has this new Captain America flight suit that the Wakandans made for him. Oh, he does? Yeah, this thing's great. He's fully protected, except the top of his head where his brain is. Oh, protecting everything except your brain cage is tight. And so Sam's gonna have to save a helicopter full of hostages. Oh man, it's gonna be tough for him to take out the pilot and make sure the chopper doesn't crash. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, it turns out one of the kidnapped senators on board that very helicopter knows how to fly the helicopter, so she takes over. Oh, hey, yeah, that worked out great. It sure did. And so eventually Carly's gonna be trying really hard to kill Sam because she's a sympathetic character, and then Sharon's gonna shoot her dead, so it's very sad. Is it? And then Sam's gonna carry her body because it's definitely a sad moment, and then he's gonna talk to some senators. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's gonna be like, stop calling the Flag Smashers terrorists. Well, I mean, they literally used violence and intimidation against civilians in pursuit of political aims, which is... You know, the definition of terrorism. Yeah, well, Sam's gonna tell them to not say that, and then he's gonna keep lecturing them for four to five minutes. Okay. And one of the senators gonna be like, okay, but logistically, what are we supposed to do here? And Sam's gonna be like, do better, senator. Oh, you know, that does sound like it's gonna help a lot. It is. Wow, 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 wow. And so then Sam's gonna make sure that Isaiah's story gets told. Nice. And then Bucky's gonna go talk to Yuri and tell him what he did to his son. Oh, it's gonna be nice to see how that plays out. Then we cut away. Oh. Yeah, we get out of there, fast. Kinda wish he let that moment breathe. Nope, I'm already gone before we even get to see the moment I've been building up to all season. Okay. And then during the end credits, we're gonna have the title card say Captain America and the Winter Soldier, so that's gonna be a nice moment for Sam, you know? Hasn't Bucky's whole arc been about not being the Winter Soldier anymore? Uh, yeah, I guess I could've changed his title too, huh? Whoops! Whoopsie! So what do you think? Well, it sounds great. I'm just not sure about that Baron Zemo dancing thing. That seems like a weird thing to include. Well, I keep seeing this gif of Thanos twerking online, so I feel like the internet's really gonna like it. Okay. Okay, I mean, we could include a second of it, and if people want more, we could release that online. Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's going to be new ones, you know? Okay, bye.